welcome back to my channel today I have a Halloween slash autumn fashion haul I'm going to call this because not everything is Halloween specific but there are a few pieces in there that could be uh, perfect for Halloween so without further ado I'm going to jump straight into this video because I have a lot to show you I have misguided pretty little thing and also a few pairs of shoes from public desire please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload I'll also leave a link to my Instagram which is Freya Farrington one down below if you wanted to follow me over on there now let's get straight into the video. I'm going to start with misguided just because I have a couple of bits uh, Halloween appropriate within here so let's jump into this one. So what I will say is I have ventured into a little bit of colour, a bit of red with the whole Halloween night coming up. Now I'm not sure what my plans are this year for Halloween, whether or not I'm going out, doing anything at all. So I've just got a couple of pieces that could be Halloween appropriate but I could also wear them not for Halloween. So I'll show you what I mean by the first piece. This is a dress in like a velvety burgundy colour with a nude lace, which I've never thought to pair nude and burgundy together. However, I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous mix. So as I said, it's kind of like a velour, velvety kind of material. There's a lot of lace detailing as well. So what I'm going to do is try these on for you so you can see what they look like on. I got it in a size 10. I'll leave a link to this along with everything else that I mentioned in this video as well. So let's give this one a try. Okay, I actually really like this dress. I wasn't sure I would. I thought maybe, yeah, just for Halloween, maybe as like a devil or something, as a subtle burgundy and nude but I love the burgundy and nude together. It's quite a low back, which I'm fine with, but it makes me feel quite exposed. So I think I'd have to put on like a jacket and I'd probably only wear this like out, out, if you know what I mean. Like I wouldn't just wear this to a wedding or to dinner or something because it feels quite skimpy. Okay, next up is something black. This is like a lace, it's called a lace harness bodysuit because of the little straps here but essentially because the cup is padded not padded but like lined I thought I could even just pair this with like high-waisted jeans that kind of thing just casually like every day day to day I got it in a size 10 so I'll try it on and style it up and show you guys what I think okay I really like this uh I like the cut here because it's a little something different I'd probably be more inclined to wear it like as a nighttime kind of top um, again paired with jeans and heels for like drinks and dinner if you're someone who struggles with bodysuit in terms of length or it being too short or something like that which I have had in the past you won't um, have an issue with this one because it's super super stretchy so like it can accommodate to your body length there's nothing worse than getting a bodysuit that is way too short for you and it just rides up it's uncomfortable it's not a good situation so you won't have that with this one it's a good staple to have, I feel. Okay, let's go in with another black item, and this is a V-Bar Bando Wide Leg Jumpsuit in a size 10. I have a jumpsuit, or had, I should say, a jumpsuit very similar to this from French Connection, but it was like, the bottom of it was ruined, so I had it, but then I thought, no, I need to just get rid. So this is kind of like to replace that, because I think everyone should have a plain black, and the other one was strapless as well, jumpsuit in your wardrobe because it's just a good go-to it's wide leg as well which i think for my body shape is like the most flattering style and it's a nice thick fabric as well which sometimes i'm a bit skeptical with ordering from like misguided pretty little thing because sometimes they're quite thin but this is like double lined so it's nice and thick and i'm happy with the thickness and the quality of that so let's try that one on i'm a big fan of the wide leg but the fit of it like from here up is a little too big for me unfortunately so uh, I would recommend sizing down in this one for sure uh, the length of it is good I'm five foot six or nearly five foot six like five five and a half something like that and um, I would have to wear heels with it and even then it would like just like be the perfect length with heels okay this is definitely something that could be like a subtle halloween outfit because of 
the text. I, I think they had this last year as well. It's basically a bodysuit with angel written on it. So again, it could be worn all year round, obviously, but they also had a red devil one, which I do think is only appropriate really to Halloween. So I got this in a size 10. I thought this could be cute if I did want to dress up as a little angel, get a little halo, which they also had. I think they're about four pounds, the halos. They had loads of like accessories if you're after like a lace mask or anything like that. I already have a couple from last year, which I did in my Pretty Little Thing Halloween haul. I'll leave it linked because when I was shopping on Pretty Little Thing, I noticed a lot of the items were the same. So within that video, all the items that will be linked from last year, a lot of them are still available to buy. So it's like a secondary Halloween haul video. If you wanted to watch that, I'll leave it linked. But yeah, let's give this one a try and see what we think. Very simple, very easy top this one. And like I said, if you're wanting to just do a little Halloween without going full blown Halloween, then this one's quite cute, as is the devil one. Make it a bit glitzy and put like some sequins on and like really gold kind of wet look makeup to make it all angelic. But yeah, a big fan of this one as a basic long sleeve top and good for layering throughout winter as well. Okay, two red items, which is definitely out of my comfort zone although I did wear a red bandage dress recently to a wedding if you watch my weekly vlogs a lot of you said that you liked the red on me because usually I obviously just go for like the neutral colours um, and I do think red on blondes works this again is like a little lacy bralette style top it's got a zip up the back size 8 I got this in and again the cups are lined and I thought that just paired with like some high-waisted jeans nice simple outfit with like some heels but then again if I wanted to go as a devil for Halloween I have a red late not latex like vinyl mini skirt which I got last year from Pretty Little Thing you'll see in that video so I still have that I could pair it with that and wear little devil horns and be an easy cop out outfit so this is the little red uh, lacy bralette top the only thing I would say when I wear red I feel like I need to put a load of tan on so I feel quite pale right now but I like it this again is another piece very similar to the last one but even more so I like the style of it. I have one very similar in white which I got from Zara and it's this little lacy top. Again it's slightly cropped and high neck which I love. I got it in a size 10. It has the zip up the back which is the same as the Zara one. It's got a little like built in bralette. Okay I'm a big fan of this one. I like the high neck. I really like the cut of a high neck top especially when it's a little bit cropped as well. It's just like I don't know, I just feel a bit classier with a higher neck and I really like this. It's, like I said, very similar to my white one from Zara and I've got a lot of wear out of that one so now I've got a bright red one which, like I said, could easily be transitioned for a Halloween piece. Pair it with a red leather skirt or red patent trousers which I know they do as well. Who knows, maybe even a Christmas day number we'll see okay the last thing that i got from miss guided is this it is a tongue-in-cheek kind of top to just wear on halloween which i probably just wear with comfies like during the day or whatever just for fun and it says resting witch face i got this in a size uh medium i'll probably roll the sleeves up and just wear this like i said pretty casual with like high waisted jeans on Halloween, I think that's kind of fun. So yeah, this is a cute little tea resting witch face. It's kind of sheer, I've got a black cropped up on so I probably have to wear nude or white. But other than that, it's just a basic, simple tea. It's just like a raw hem at the bottom. But for just a staple, fun little piece for Halloween, I think it's quite fun. Okay, I'm gonna switch up now and go to shoes. I'm gonna show you everything that I got from Public Desire, which just came in this morning. So I still need to open it up. Let me grab some scissors. I actually need to have a pretty big clear out of my shoes and boots and everything because at the minute they're all kind of like stored away and I forget what I've already got so I need a detox and a clear out. Okay so I've got four pairs of shoes in here. Oh how exciting. Pair number one. I can't actually remember everything that I've got. Oh yeah okay so I've seen these before like again with like jeans nice top just for like evening drinks they're just a very simple nude heel now i thought these would work well because it's got like a little toe thing kind of like a flip-flop design and then this band over the foot is like a like material it's like a stretchy material rather than something like stiff and uncomfortable that might rub i like this square heel design which is very 
well it's everywhere at the minute. I thought this could be a new staple nude heel which I don't really have. I have a pair of quartz that are nude but they're just Primark and I don't feel like they're going to last forever. So this is just an alternative with maybe like if you're wanting your toes out. Okay, pair number two, plain black boots. I don't have stiletto boots like this, which are in like a faux leather, like a matte finish rather than the shiny finish. But this is what they look like. They've got the zip on the inside. Just a classic staple pointy toe stiletto boot that I just don't own. So I figured I would pick a pair up. And again, paired with like just some jeans and a nice top for drinks, for dinner. This is pretty much me for the rest of like winter season is just nice pair of shoes. Keep it simple with jeans, nice top and just pair the heel with it. So yeah, really happy I got those. I already have some very similar to this that I live in, but they're faux suede. So I thought just for the different kind of material, different finish, I went for like a matte and the zip isn't too like stark of a silver. It's more of like a gun metal. And these, I remember what these ones are. These are again, another black boot. Again, staple, like I said, I need a big clear out of my other ones that are all scuffed and need throwing out. But these, are unlike anything I've owned before because they're half faux suede, half patent leather. So I've seen the designs and they actually had some available on their website which is like half black patent leather and half white patent material. So instead of that I went for the all black which I just think is more wearable, a nice thick chunky heel so they're going to be comfortable to walk in. But I thought the contrast of the faux suede versus shiny made them quite unique. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Public Desire. Now into the big PLT bag. So these are far more like autumnal pieces. Oh my God, I'm so excited for these. They've included some PLT makeup. There's a little three, pa oh yeah, it's a free sample it says. So there is a little lip gloss, like a peachy kind of toned lip gloss, and then a concealer color corrector palette. I've never seen them do that before, so that's nice. There's a lot of Beige. First of all, I'm going to start with a plain black number though, and I actually want to get my hands on a white one of these. I didn't see one online. I think Zara do one actually, so I might have a look in there when I go next into town. But it's essentially a high neck ribbed crop top. Okay, so this is the plain high neck crop top from Pretty Little Thing. I like it. But I feel like I really wanted to get it in white and it would be a nightmare in white for foundation up here. So as much as I love the idea of getting a white one, I think black is probably best. You could just pair it with like a nice cosy chunky knit cardigan or something. Moving on to this creamy cosy knit. I got this in a size small. Oh, this black top I got in a size 10 but it is from the petite range. Okay, so this is the cozy cardigan in a small, but it's quite oversized. But I would say that is just the right length to like cover my bum if I just wanted to wear leggings like on a cozy winter's day. Okay, this is the comfy cozy cardigan. Oh, the sleeves aren't as long as I thought they were going to be. They're not too short, but they're like not as long as I'd like. It's still a super cozy cardigan though, and it's actually, like I was a bit unsure on the, the feel of it. I thought it was gonna be like static and stuff, but it's actually quite cozy and comfy once on. So yeah, I quite like this one. It's kind of like a yellowy cream as well in terms of the color. You could also belt it if you wanted to. A good staple, this one. A little pop of shoulder there. Hashtag blogger style. Okay, so moving on to this. I remember I had to size up to a 12 in this, so this may have to go back if it doesn't fit me, but I'm hoping I can make it work even with like a belt or something, because I really, really liked it. So it's a chocolate and white polka dot frill midi skirt with a nice cream knit jumper. I just think it would look so nice. It's a fairly stretchy waist, so I'm hoping, I think that'll be okay, especially if I do pair a belt with it. So fingers crossed. <sighs> It's not as midi skirt as I thought it initially would be. This slit, the little frill bit comes up quite high, so it's kind of like, you know, there's a lot of leg on show. Um, but getting a 12 is absolutely fine. Although it's not skin tight and figure hugging, it's not that baggy either. So I feel like whether I would have got a 10 or a 12, it still would have been fine. So I'm happy to have picked up a 12. And they did have this in a navy as well, but this is like a chocolatey brownie kind of colour. Okay, this is essentially a satiny 
snakeskin print brown skirt. I got it in this size 10. It's quite thin, but it's by no means sheer. I like it, but it's not at all how I imagined it to be. I wanted it to just fall quite nicely, but in fact, it's quite fitted. Maybe even more dress it up for a night out that kind of thing with maybe the black lace bodysuit or something and some black heels and I like that it's brown as well I've got a brown knit jumper from Urban Outfitters which I picked up and I think I would pair the brown one with it as well as the cream we've got some more snake skin it's in a size 10 and it is this dress why do they do that sometimes a pretty little thing the label comes upside down isn't that so funny do you guys ever have that it's certainly not the first time that I've had that anyway very snake print ruched button front midi dress in a size 10 and again I was thinking with this one potentially to pair a um, cream knit over the top of this so to wear it more as either a dress but also equally put a knit over the top and it's more of like a midi skirt with a knit jumper okay this snake print I love I think it goes really well with the cream this kind of grey toned snake skin but this is what it looks like as a skirt and then this is it as a dress. It's actually quite a plunging kind of neckline. So I feel like it could be a nice day to night kind of outfit. If you had the jumper on during the day with some heels on for work, but then you could take the jumper off and it'd be a little more um, dressy for like with heels on for like post work drinks maybe. So this is like a high neck jumper. I actually wasn't sure about this one at first. But let me know what you guys think. It's a bit different because the print is only on the arms. I do really like the colours of this. I wasn't sure at first when I was ordering it, but I think I'm going to like this. And check is super in, which you're going to see in a second. I've picked up another piece. I really like it, but I'm just not a fan of this bottom part. So I think what I would do is either crop it, tuck it in, or sometimes what I do is I wear these crop tops from Primark at Primark Poundland and you can get them anywhere though any kind of crop top and just kind of tuck it under like that if you know what i mean okay so speaking of check i bought this one which is like a brownie nude kind of check which is very me and it is short sleeved with a collar and it's actually a midi dress i'm thinking more of putting a knit jumper over the top of this okay this is the like checkered beige and brown uh, print dress it's quite a thick fabric so it's definitely more cozy wintry kind of time of the year so let me put this one on and then you can always like pop the collar out like that and there is a belt here so if you wanted to tuck the jumper like into the belt or just leave it hanging loose you could do I think I'll probably just hang leave it hanging loose and it's then more of like a midi skirt like a pleat but well, it's not pleated but it's kind of a little skater style um midi skirt with like a nice comfy cozy knit jumper you could even maybe just pair like a black leather jacket with it just to like give it more biker vibes with like some black boots okay moving on to this skirt again like i said another midi skirt this one's slightly different though because it's not like a loose fit midi skirt essentially it's got a little clasp at the top buttons all the way down and then it has this belt to it as well which has a nice uh, rectangular shaped tortoise shell in a true beige colour. I just love the colour of this. Okay, this one I love. I absolutely love this skirt. I've just paired it with this cream jumper in the exact same colour, so it's all kind of monotone. It's very safari inspired, safari trend, which carried through from spring. Okay, so changing up a bit and adding a blazer into the mix. I love the colour of this. It is a true beige check subtle camel kind of stone coloured print that's like the worst description ever uh, again it's in a size 10 this one it looks like it's going to be like a little oversized the sleeves are quite long actually which is rare um, the only thing I will say it's quite thin so I feel like you're going to have to layer with this one especially at this time of the year um, otherwise better suited to maybe springtime but I do think it needs like a thick knit or maybe a hoodie even uh, something to just keep you warmer in because on its own it is quite thin and probably would not keep you very warm I like the length of it love that I actually don't think I own a blazer this length moving on to this which is a 
cream jersey crew neck boxy t-shirt and trousers set in a size 10. I mean this set I'll be honest I'm only imagining wearing around the house as like comfy like what I've got on today is so comfy I just picked it up from Primark this little jumper which says Brooklyn and then these which are incredibly festive leggings they're the cozy leggings and they are so comfy they do a burgundy one as well so I think I'm going to pick them up okay this is the white comfy two-piece again I would probably only wear this around the house it's a little bit cropped on the bottoms but they're not super tight which I really like because it just makes them more comfortable there's only so much you can say about a t-shirt like this but as a set I think it's the perfect or not the perfect it is a good staple casual around the house comfy lounging Sunday Netflix and chilling type outfit watching X Factor in the evening with all your snacks that's when I'm gonna be wearing this I'm trying to kind of join the bandwagon but also like just try it out and if it doesn't work I can send it back and if I like it I'd style it on my Instagram and it would be a bit like a blogger <laughs> it's a boiler suit essentially it says it's stone but it's not it's more of like a brownie color I'd say <laughs> I really don't know I think this again is going to be one of those pieces that boys in your life will be like what is that so I can't really comment until I've tried this one on oh no oh dear <laughs> Oh god. I feel like I'm in this because it's a trend piece. I don't know if I can get my head around the fact that I feel like I'm in a baby grow. <sighs> I don't know. This is when sometimes boys opinion is a good judge, no, opinion, judge of opinion, judge of whatever I'm trying to say. Do I like it? Do I not? I wish it was a little more, I don't know if it was meant to come with a belt and mine didn't or not, but if it was just cinched in a bit more at the waist. Okay, I've been eyeing this one up and I think I'm saving the best till last. <laughs> so excited for this one. Super, super cosy in, like I was saying, my favourite kind of fabric for these cosy knit jumpers. And it's this chenille kind of, oh, it's so soft. It's got a roll neck and I got it in a size medium. This is in the camel colour, but I believe they have other colours. I think I've seen a baby pink one. The sleeves are super big and oversized. It's slightly cropped, which is a nice length in terms of being able to just tuck in to high-waisted jeans without having loads of excess material. This with a big teddy coat and jeans and boots in winter is going to be like my staple go-to winter outfit. I can see it already. This jumper is so nice. It's probably one of my favourite things from this haul and one that I know I will get the most wear out of. Very big ghouling looking, ghouling looking, is that even a word? Ghostly looking, ghoulishly looking <laughs> sleeves. So guys, that is everything that I picked up from Misguided Pretty Little Thing and Public Desire, all my favourite new and pieces. Let me know which pieces were some of your favourites. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. You can't even see my candles burning. And the notification bell to turn on those. Let's now. I'm gonna start with misguided actually because I think misguided is the one. Misguided is the could be worn all year round or like comfortable at home or. Oh, ignore that. Okay. If I am going out, and I will leave links to the. And I'll leave links to this, I'll leave a link to this along with everything that I'll, I'll leave a link to this, a corded, corded leather catsuit style, is that what I'm trying to think of? I don't know. <sighs> they're all kind, they're all kind of like, so I already have, scrap that bit, Let's give those a try, let you knit, I'll give those a try, so yeah, thumbs up, excuse me, <laughs> chunky knit jumper with this, so a nice thick chunky neck. I think it will be. It's a fairly sh shut up phone. <laughs> to oh, oh, oh. <laughs> someone's just walking past my window. I've got some, a scratch and itch. But this is what the top looks like. A lot of wear is going to be. A, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this one. Let me know which of. Let me know which. Let me know which pieces were. So guys, that is everything that I picked up on this. So guys, that is everything I picked up. Hello.